Despite losing two legendary offensive talents to the NFL, Clemson fans, you know that your team is loaded with returning talent on defense and at the skill positions on offense. Welcome to the Voice of College Football. Clemson, please like the video, share the videos on social media, because if you enjoy the discussion, the debate, and the analysis, others will as well. So please share the videos and subscribe right here. Taking this from an Athlon's article regarding the top five newcomers to Clemson in 2021, we would like to get your feedback and your comments down below. Number one, Will Shipley. Probably talked about more than any other new coming a player to college football in 2021. Early enrollee who's already on campus and already gaining some accolades and attention. Dabo Sweeney during one of his news conferences said Will Shipley is an advanced player in regards to the tremendous coaching he received in high school and being way ahead of the curve uh, as far as incoming freshmen. 2,600 plus yards as a junior in high school with 38 touchdowns. Number one all-purpose back in the nation, number two player out of the state of Virginia or North Carolina, and the 31st rated player in the nation. The 247 Sports recruiting analyst comparison to an NFL player, Will Shipley, Joe Mixon of Oklahoma and now the Cincinnati Bengals. He's a track star as well, running the 55 and the 300-meter dash and the long jump. Will Shipley is a superior athlete who should contribute for Clemson in 2021. All right, Tristan Lee. The scouts rave about this offensive tackle having the build, the strength, the skills, the athleticism, the attitude, and the mindset and work ethic to be an all-time great, to be just an All-American at the next level. 6'5", 270. As the fourth-rated offensive tackle in the country, the number one player in the state of Virginia, 13th-rated player, regardless of position, Tristan Lee has all the makings of a star. Now, is he going to contribute this season heavily? Clemson does bring back three of five offensive linemen, but so there's two open spots, plus, of course, the rotation, which will involve two or three additional players, so seven or eight in the rotation, most likely, uh, that will get some playing time. Tristan Lee on the radar, of course, for 2021. Demonte Capehart, defensive tackle, top five player at his position in the nation, number five player in South Carolina. He's number 34. So we're talking about three of the top 34 players in this uh, 2021 class right here. Uh, Actually going back one season for Capehart, though. Richard Freshman, of course, he played in four games in 2020, made a few tackles. Uh, He's going to be a backup to Tyler Davis and Brian Brissy, two of the very best in the nation. And uh, he's at uh, 6'4 and a half, 295, likened to Chris Jones at the NFL level, formerly of Mississippi State. Linebacker Jeremiah Trotter. Dabo Sweeney said a few weeks ago during a news conference that Jeremiah Trotter might be the most athletically gifted linebacker he's had at the program in Clemson. I think Isaiah Simmons was just playing there a couple years ago and was remarkable. And Jeremiah Trotter might be a better athlete. Of course, he comes from a great bloodline. His Dad was a tremendous linebacker at the NFL level with the Philadelphia Eagles. This Trotter Jr. being likened to former Michigan linebacker, current Pittsburgh Steeler Devin Bush. Second-rated inside linebacker in the country. Third-rated player out of Pennsylvania. 36th-rated player. Again, a number top 30, top 40 player in the nation uh, coming to Clemson. And again, Dabo raving about his athleticism. Then finally, we go to the wide receiver position, which has arguably been the best position at Clemson and wide receiver at Clemson, the best wide receiver core for the last 10 years. And the latest could be Bo Collins, 12th rated wide receiver in the country coming out of high school, ninth rated player in California, number 85 overall. With the injury history of the three top wide receivers at Clemson, Bo Collins may get his shot uh, if that injury history unfortunately continues uh, with the likes of Justin Ross, who missed all of 2020, 
and uh, jo- Joseph Nagata and Frank Lanson. Uh, quarterback DJ Uyangalele and Bo Collins were teammates at um, uh, St. Bosco in California. So there's that rapport and that chemistry there. At six, two and a half, he's likened to Josh Reynolds, formerly of Texas A&M, by the 247 Sports Composite um, Recruiting Analysis. 50 catches in high school for 16 touchdowns and over 1,200 yards. Bo Collins could be a factor here in 2021. That is the list of athlons, and that's the rundown of incoming talent to Clemson that could make an impact immediately. Your thoughts down below, and please like, comment, share the videos on social media, and subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football, Clemson.